is Deanna Perrazzo upset with Impact Wrestling? ODB makes her return, and we finally get the debut of Shogun Jackson Stone. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Real quick, my YouTube channel needs three more subscribers to hit 200. Last I looked, I was at 197. If there's anybody out there that wants to head on over to my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button, get me at 200 subscribers. I will be a very, very happy person. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. You got a little taste of it right here on the Impact Lounge. I put up uh, my interview with Aiden Prince, as well as MLW Rewind, the podcast they do with uh, my podcast partner in crime, George Mackay. And hopefully uh, you checked it out and enjoyed that as well. Uh, but head on over, head on over to my YouTube site, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully I can get to 200. Yeah, my fingers are crossed, only three more. So if there are three more, three people out there that wanna head on over and subscribe, Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, feel free to go ahead and get me to 200. All right, so let's, uh, let's get on with uh, Impact Wrestling. ODB, ODB has made her return to Impact Wrestling. Uh, we saw her, she came out to make the save. Um, Jazz and Jordan Grace were being attacked by Deanna Perrazzo, Kimberly, and Susan. And uh, ODB's music hit. She came out, made the save, and uh, she did her shtick. And uh, now um, Jordan Grace, um, ODB, and Jazz are now a, uh, a, uh, I guess, a happy little faction now. And uh, they're kind of leading towards kind of leading towards, in my opinion anyway, of Jazz going one-on-one -on -one with ODB. Okay, so they're, they're kind of leading, they're kind of hinting on that, I think. And I know they're, they're ODB, when she was on um, the Chris Van Vliet show, uh, she had said that she would like to you know, go on go one-on-one -on -one with Jazz. It's one person she would like to go one-on-one -on -one with. And so you know Impact Wrestling is going to make the match, and we're going to probably get it at Rebellion, and they're going to use the word dream match. They say, oh, we, we got a dream match between ODB and Jazz. And... Uh, that's not not really a dream match, but uh, we're probably gonna get it. We're probably gonna get it. Personally, me, I, I've never really been a big fan of ODB, so I really didn't get excited uh, to see ODB uh, come back. But uh, you know, Scott Demore he uh, tweeted out, uh, "It's good to have ODB." I think he said, "It's good to be have ODB back home," or "It's good to have ODB back at Impact Wrestling." Good to have her back, and everybody seems happy, right? Everybody seems happy that ODB is back, right? Nope. Nope. Uh, Diona Perrazzo, Diona Perrazzo, um, uh, she doesn't seem very happy that ODB is back. And um, she tweeted out after ODB made her return on TV, um, Diona Perrazzo, she, um, she tweeted out, I thought we were changing the world. I thought this is where new talent, new talent came to prove themselves and get what they deserve. Turns out it's where old timers come to relive their glory days. How embarrassing at Impact Wrestling. And then she tweeted out, look, Scott Damore, um, sure, ODB is a great part of Impact Wrestling history. However, I have compiled a list of new women who I'd like to see make history with our division in 2021. Let's talk next week. No lawyer this time, KK. Is this part of a storyline? Could be, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. I it sounds like she's legitimately annoyed at this and rightfully so i mean right when she says however i've compiled a list of new women who i'd like to see make history with our division in 2021 that's that's the leader that's how a leader talks that's how a leader of 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 the knockouts division talks she's the impact she's the impact wrestling knockouts champion and i think she's getting a little tired of I don't want to see the world old timers, but 
but uh, not new, not new fresh talent coming in all the time. I, I think she's getting a little annoyed at that because because they were kind of hinting on the last episode of Impact that uh, she's going to probably jump back into a few with Jordan Grace. And uh, she's already beaten Jordan Grace. We already have the few. Let, let's, we, we don't want to go back to that. I don't think she wants to go back to that. And to have ODB come out and make the save, I mean, uh, are they going to, are they going to, is this going to lead up to a uh, Deanna Perrazzo one on one with ODB? Uh, I'm not really interested in that. And, and, and from what I, from what it seems like here, neither is Deanna Perrazzo. And I, I think, you know, I, I talk about new talent all the time. And I, I think the talents, such as Deanna Prazo is 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 seeing it too, but they but they're they haven't really said anything. They haven't spoken up about it. But now she's starting to speak up and saying, "Look, enough's enough. Let let's get some new fresh talent in here, make things exciting again." Because she said, "You know, you know, we they were supposed to be changing the world. I, I think they said that months ago. We we're, we're going to change the world." And um, Deanna Prado said, I thought this is where new talent comes to, comes to prove themselves and get what they deserve. Um, but we, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen that. I mean, we've seen, we've seen like, let, let's talk about the knockouts division. We've seen Killer Kelly. We've seen Renee Michelle. We've seen the Sea Stars recently. They, they've come in and they were there for the, for the tag team tournament, the knockouts tag team tournament. Um, well, after that was done, we didn't see the Sea Stars anymore. And, and, Renee Michelle had a, I think one or two matches on Explosion, and I think we saw Killer Kelly. I don't think we saw Killer Kelly after that. We saw Killer Kelly once before the Knockouts Tag Team Tournament, but we didn't see her again. And and there's a lot of there's a lot of talent out there, a lot of women out there that are looking for a break, and and a lot of them are showing up in AEW Dark. Like I, I don't want to go back, but they're doing the right thing. AEW is doing the right thing, and and Diana Prazo. I think sees that now. And again, this could be part of a storyline. This whole thing could be a part of a storyline, but I, I don't know if it is. I, I don't know. It, it could be. If it is, fine. Okay, it's part of a storyline. But but like I said, just when she says, I have a list of new women who I'd like to see make history with our division, that's not how a heel talks, right? That's not how a heel champion talks. She doesn't, she doesn't want new women coming in that will be a threat to her title. That's not, that's not how a heel champion talks. If she was babyface, okay, I, I, I understand. She wants, she, wants, um, she wants to defend her belt against the top competition, but that's, that's not how a heel talks. And she's, she's, she's making a very, very good point here. And she says that she's, she's going to talk with Scott Demore next week and i think they're gonna have a real conversation about it i'm gonna have real and I'd, I'd like to see more talents start speaking up and start talking about hey where's where's the where's the fresh talent where where where's the w w odb i mean you're gonna bring odb in every six months you're gonna bring her in every six months i mean jazz who who said that she's done with wrestling she retired and now she's in impact wrestling um i mean who who next i mean i know um um, oh, and um, tell I think is it tell wild, tell wild. I believe if, if I got the name wrong, I'm sorry, it's it's a little late right now. But uh, she says she wants to come back to impact wrestling. You know, why are they looking to the past? Why, why I'm not saying impact wrestling is interested, but I, I think I read somewhere that they might be interested. But instead of looking to the past, impact wrestling needs to look to the future, right? What's what's the future of impact wrestling? That what's what's not what we had in the past. I mean, BQ made a great point. I was looking at BQ, and he says Impact Wrestling always wants to show you that they had AJ Styles, but they never want to show you who their next AJ Styles is going to be, if that makes sense. And and he's 100% right. It makes sense to me. Hope it makes sense to you. And he's 100% right. They, they're they so quick to say, yeah, we had AJ Styles. Here's another, you know, you know, here's another Impact Plus match of the week, a moment of the week featuring AJ Styles because he was here in, in Impact Wrestling, TNA. But we, we, we're not interested in finding the next AJ Styles. And they haven't found the next AJ Styles. And, and they should be looking for the next, they should have been looking for the next AJ Styles for quite some time. And they just, like I said, enough with the past. They need to look to the future. They need to look to, to the future 
of Impact Wrestling. What's the future of Impact Wrestling? Speaking of the future of Impact Wrestling, if you remember about a year ago, Jackson Stone won Gut Check, and I've been questioning, when is he going to make his debut? When is he going to make his debut? It's, 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 it's three months, it's four months, it's five months, it's six months. When is he going to make his debut? He finally made his debut. Jackson Stone finally made his debut on Explosion. And his opponent was Mahamali Shira. And Jackson Stone is the future, is the future of Impact Wrestling. And he looked fantastic. Now, Mah Mahabali Shira, I'm not a big fan. Uh, it would have been nice if they gave him a, a better opponent. Like Jackson Stone against Sammy Callahan would have been would have been fantastic. Um, Jackson Stone against Chris Saban would have been terrific. Mahabali Shira, not, not a big fan. Uh, but nonetheless, Jackson Stone just um, when he there's, there's the walk to the ring, his look, his in ring performance, everything about him, just just ring star he's just a, he, he just he looks like he's gonna be a star he looks like a star already and um i think he's he's the future he's the future of impact wrestling and last week we saw Braden lee and uh he was fantastic he had a great match against uh sammy callahan so we see a nice little trend here the last two weeks we saw Braden lee and this week's we see jackson stone so we're there's there's the future but i'm i'm a little i'm a little pessimistic a little pessimistic because if you if you remember blake christian had a just a fantastic match with ace austin and then we we never we never heard from blake christian again uh, casey navarro has future star written all over him he was in the uh, the um, Super X Cup tournament, and they had one match. He lost it, and we didn't see him again. And now he's week after week. He's showing up in AEW Dark. Sooner or later, he's going to get signed to AEW. Uh, we saw Trey Lamar. We saw Trey Lamar lost to Crazy Steve. Never saw him again. Never saw him again. Lee Moriarty. Lee Moriarty is just a fantastic, fantastic wrestler. Without a doubt, a future star. He had one match in Explosion. A few weeks ago, never saw him again. And um, there were a few more. There were a few more who have the one-off matches on Explosion. And then we never, never see them again. And this is who the Impact Wrestling needs to be looking at. These are the future guys, man. These are the. This is the future, right? It, it, it just gets a little frustrating sometimes because you you you... You you want them you want Impact Wrestling to do well, and I I I want Impact Wrestling to do well. Everybody listening to me wants Impact Wrestling to do well, and they're doing well right now with this AEW Impact Wrestling um, partnership. But it's not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. And like I said last week, they can't keep counting on. They're not going to be able to keep counting on AEW to send a private party over or to send um, um, some young mid carters over uh, to challenge for a title. They need to start developing their own stars. They need to start thinking who is going to be the future of Impact Wrestling. Right? They need to start thinking who is going to be the future. I should have bang. I'm, I'm creating uh, interference on the cameras. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm getting emotional. Sorry. But uh, they need to start saying who is going to be the future of Impact Wrestling? Who's going to be the future of Impact Wrestling? You know, is Matt Cardona going to be the future of Impact Wrestling? I mean, if he signs a one or two year deal, that's great. But, but, He's uh, he's he's not he's not a young up and coming kid. He's already an established star. They need to start looking at okay, who is who's gonna three? Who can we sign for to a three four year contract down the road is going to to um, carry? I don't want to say carry the torch, but who is gonna? What what group of young wrestlers are going to excite our fans for the next two three four years? You know what I mean? You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You understand me? I mean, well, Jackson Stone, Jackson Stone, they um they have Jackson Stone wrapped up to a contract. When I when I spoke to Jackson Stone uh, after he won one gut check, he said he had a three year deal. So he's got two years left. He's got two years left on his contract. So they could they could put him on explosion, and we're gonna see him again because he he's got 
a contract. He has signed a contract with Impact Wrestling. The two years should be left on that contract. But when you see a Blake Christian, who's not on the contract, when you see a Trey Lamar, a Lee Moriarty, uh, when you see these guys, they're not on the contract. So it's for them, it's normally one and done, and we're not going to see them again. I mean, Scott Demore. Now, granted, you know, maybe they made Blake Christian an offer and he decided not to take it, you know, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that as, as long as, as at least they made the offer. But Blake Christian is just one guy. There are other people out there, other guys, other women that would love the opportunity to come into Impact Wrestling. I mean, look at the X Division. How many times are we, we going to see TJP and Rohit Raju? I mean... We, we've seen them. It was Manic, and now it's TJP, and it's Rahit Raju. I mean, Chris Bay is there. Okay, but who else is there after that? Who else is there? I mean, that's why they got to stop bringing in the new crop, and not just one or two. They need to bring in four or five, you know, six new new young individuals. And, and again, like I said last week, Explosion should be a show on YouTube, and it should be exclusively for young talent. For young talent like an AEW Dark, is that's what they should be doing. Um, but um, anyway, that's uh, that's that's my feeling on that. That's my feeling on that. And again, it was a great debut for Jackson Stone. I'm glad we finally got to see him, and uh, he's got a bright future. He's got two years left on his contract. Um, and I'm going by what he told me uh, when I interviewed him last year that he had a three year deal, and that was a year ago. So I'm assuming, you know, three minus uh, one is two. So there's two years left. So there's two years left to develop uh, Jackson Stone. And hopefully, um, Braden Lee, uh, they look at Braden Lee and they bring him in for two, three years. And uh, they look at some other stars as well because there's a lot of them out there. And they should look at Canada too. You know, I know there's a number of Canadians and and uh, Canada has a lot of young stars, a lot of hungry young stars that are ready to um, to um, get their opportunity. But uh, this Canada and the States, you know, Mexico, you know, there's, there's um, a whole group of young wrestlers hungry to get an opportunity. And Impact Wrestling should be taking advantage of that right now. Okay, well, that's it for me. My name is Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.